Okay, so we are going to use an agile uh, software development process to come up with an app which uh, calculates how fast Steve should drive to his in-laws cabin in northern Minnesota. We have a time limit. Uh, it is 15 minutes or less. Actually, the clock is already ticking. Why 15 minutes? Because that is the maximum length of a video on uh, Screencast-O-Matic, which is the application I'm using to make this uh, tool. So I have a deadline. I have to launch my product in 14 minutes and, and 25 seconds, uh, or else I can't go to market. So uh, what we're going to do is form a scrum. Uh, today the scrum is just me. Um, brainstorm, uh, and, and we better get moving because the clock is already ticking. So uh, the question we want to answer is how fast should I drive? So what is my speed? This is where I'm going to put my answer. Um, I need to know how far I'm going. Uh, it's 215 miles, um, distance in miles, so we'll say that so that somebody can use this tool. Um, we should probably uh, come up with a table for uh, speed, miles per gallon. Uh, my Subaru, I usually drive like 65 miles an hour and I get like 27 miles a gallon, uh, which is pretty good. Um, it maybe it's 28 it drops off pretty quick uh, let me see I'm gonna do this real fast because I don't have much time all right and uh, let's see it drops off pretty quick we'll do this 26 26 24 22 20 say 16 14 11, 9. Okay, and it's pretty good on the other end. Actually, you know what? My maximum speed, my, okay, I'm running out of time here. Okay, I just got to get some numbers on here. We can tune it later. It's probably something like this. Okay, so um, if I only care about, let's see, gas, uh, my miles per gallon, um, and how many gallons did I use? Gallons that I use would be the distance divided by my miles per gallon. So div zero, okay. Um, okay. Pick a speed. So if I pick 60 miles an hour, that would be 30 miles per gallon, and I would use seven gallons. That sounds about right. Cost per gallon. I have to start speeding up here. Sorry. Cost per gallon. I just looked that up. It's two dollars and sixty-four cents. So the cost of gas. Uh, cost of gas is cost per gallon times gallons. Okay, so I'm going to spend eighteen dollars and ninety-two cents on gas at that speed. Um, now, I want to uh, optimize my time. So let's see, what is the value of my time? Um, let's say I value my time, uh, let's say uh, $1 per minute. Um, if I can get there faster than um, 60 miles an hour, which would be 215 minutes, uh, duration. Duration would be, um, that'd be the distance divided by the speed. Uh, times uh, 60 times 60 all right so that's in minutes so at 60 miles an hour it takes me 215 minutes if I do 80 miles an hour I get there in 161 minutes um, my value of my time is a dollar per minute so my time value uh, would be anything better than 215 minutes I get a dollar per minute of personal value so I'm, I'm making this up, but um, you know I, I value my time. I want to get there quickly. I value my time to the tune of a dollar per minute. And if I can get there in, let's say, something less than 215 minutes, I will value it at one dollar per minute. Okay, so I get fifty-three dollars worth of value um, by driving eighty instead of sixty. Okay, great. So you can tune this. Maybe your time value is only 50 cents a minute. 
Uh, I'm going to say it's a buck a minute for now. All right, so um, also if I drive too fast, let's see if I drive 100 miles an hour. Look at that. Woohoo! Um, my time value plus my gas value, I, I make it, I'm, I'm coming, I come out ahead, right? Um, I'm negative uh, $67. I get a lot of value out of that. Um, however, I'm probably going to get a speeding ticket if I drive too fast. So, what's the probability of getting a ticket? Probability of getting a ticket. Let's say it's zero uh, um, percent. But then after I go over the speed limit, I think the speed limit is like 60 miles an hour most of the way. Then there's like a there's a five percent chance it goes up a little bit. Um, oh, I'm I'm at nine minutes left for this uh, app. Okay, if I'm going 75 and a 60, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to get a ticket. Um, gosh, it's, it's I'm, I'm going to say it, it goes up pretty quick. Like uh, there's a 40 percent chance I get a ticket here. 60 percent, 80, uh, 90. Uh, 95, 97, 99. Okay, so the probability to get a ticket, what is um, the uh, penalty for the ticket? Ticket, um, let's say it's 200 bucks. Okay, so um, what I need to do real quick here is come up with an equation. Let's do this, insert a scatter. Great, looks perfect, awesome, love it. Um, let's add a trend line. Let's do a, there we go. That's a pretty good trend line. Um, trend line with an equation. Great. Love it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that equation and based on the speed, I'm going to get the miles per gallon. So instead of miles per gallon being manually typed in, miles per gallon equals um, negative, negative 0 0.0075 times speed squared plus 0 0.8452 times speed, let me put some parentheses around that just because I'm paranoid, uh, plus 5.4132. So my miles per gallon at 100 miles an hour is 14.9. That looks pretty close. Okay. And let's tune it a little here. Let's see if it works. Uh, okay. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close. So my curve is close to my data, but not perfect. But I'm down to like seven minutes left. So good enough. So now I've got a miles per gallon that corresponds to whatever speed I put in here. Next, I need to do the same for probability of a ticket. Let me do this real quick. Cut that. Put it over here. All right. Let's see if I can come up with another correlation. Uh, ooh, look at that. Mm. All right. Let's see if I can add a trend line. Polynomial. No. Let's do a third order polynomial. Close enough. Great. Okay. Let's play the equation. Okay, so now I got an equation for the probability of getting a ticket. Okay, so uh, prob ticket. The reason I want to do this is I want a, a, something that's a function of the uh, speed. So equals, ooh, geez. Huh, okay. Negative uh, 0 0.12345. Eight uh, times speed to the third power uh, plus zero point zero zero two times speed squared. I'm running out of time fast here. Plus put some parentheses there. Plus oh minus minus zero point one three. 58 times speed plus 2.7585. There's a problem with my formula. Ah, I'll fix it. I put it that. Okay. Okay, so the probability of getting a speeding ticket is 8% at 60. Mm -hmm. 
That doesn't sound great. Um, let's see, I don't know if I care for that, but wait, no, well, maybe. Let's see. 65 goes up to 18%. 70 goes up to 30%. 75 goes up to 44%. You know what? Close enough. I am down to like four minutes. So um, I want the cost prob of a ticket. Um, I don't have enough time to tune this. I'll fix it later uh, in the second release. Um, you get what you get on the first release. The probability of the ticket times the value of the ticket. Uh, so my ticket is $89.70. Okay, so I got to get this thing out the door. So my total... Um, it, actually, I'll call this the expected value of the ticket. Okay, so I expect if I drive 75 miles an hour, I expect to get an $89 ticket. If I drive 100 miles an hour, I expect to get a $235 ticket. Okay, that sounds about right. Um, and if I drive 30 miles an hour, I shouldn't get anything. Oh, you know what I need to do? Um, probability of ticket. Uh, do, 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 do. I want the... If speed is less than 60, then give me a zero, else give me this big ugly mess. Okay, so if the speed is less than zero, less than 60, I should get no ticket. Okay, only at 60 does it start. Let me make it at 61. All right, I am down to like three minutes, so I got I got to start hopping here. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna launch this tool in the next uh, three and a half minutes, whether or not it's ready. So um, here's what we're gonna do. We built. Da, 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 okay, I'm going to create a, um, a total expected value, um, it, which is the sum of my time value, the sum of my gas value, and the sum of my ticket. Okay, and I want to um, data uh, what if analysis goal seek goal seek no I want to do a solver where's solver data I want to minimize this uh oh I'm running out of time goal seek. I want to set cell i9 to minimum stand by changing my speed. I want to set it to minimum. I don't know if that works. No. How do I get this? Uh oh, I'm out of time here. Let's see. Uh, scenario manager. That's it. That's what I was looking for. All right. I want to add a scenario. Uh, scenario name, um, optimal speed, changing I9, okay, oh. um, comment, prevent changes, Where did goal seek go? All right, I got one minute left. And they got rid of my goal seek, uh, my uh, solver. Um, I want to data advanced, no. Solver. I think I need to do an add-in. Solver add-in. There it is. Oh gosh, I got 30 seconds left. Can I get this thing out the door? Oh, maybe. Solver. Cool. I want to minimize I9 by changing speed. Solve. What does it say? I should drive 60.1... 61 miles an hour for expected value of $16. I am done. The tool is ready to go. Launch.